quadriplegic doing intermittent fasting. Day seven of the restart. It's all about changes. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Gwen, C67 Quadriplegic, trying intermittent fasting, and today's day 7 of my restart. And let me tell you why it's about changes. I think the first time around, I thought I knew everything that I've read, understood how it works, and the second time, it's all about rethink from person with a disability point of view. Like I said, the last time I figured out two things, how to overcome it or make it different to improve my experience of intermittent fasting. And today I want to share with you some other changes I've made the second time around. So the first time around, I went all gung-ho about um, everything other people have said about intermittent fasting, able-bodied people. Now then I was worried about constipation more than the opposite side. So this time around, I am less worried about constipation because of having two loose stools. So now I am putting more vegetables into my diet, salads, as well as eating more cooked vegetables with meat. That has helped. I haven't increased any uh, Senecott or anything like that. If it gets worse, I will be adding those into my diet. I think we just need to constantly adjust our food and what we consume before going into medication will help us control the bowel routine issue. Second thing is I think if you really want to lose weight on intermittent fasting, it's actually going keto or partially keto. When I tried the first time around, that's how I fell off the wagon, is that I was craving starch so badly that I just gorged and wolfed down starch like there was no tomorrow, which caused my weight gain pretty fast. And this time, I think I am going to slowly cutting carb instead of completely go cold turkey. I have decreased my carb intake about 50%. I actually bought these keto crackers or chips uh, from Costco and I would have like literally five crackers when I feel like I'm hungry or when I'm thinking that I maybe need something tie me over uh, like during my eating time. I think that has helped out quite a bit. I am on the downward weight loss again. So again, just to summarize the two things, one is constantly adjust the type of food you eat to change your bowel consistency instead of go to medication. Two is think about cutting your carb or at least part of your carb to give it a slow decrease instead of doing a cold turkey. I don't think I'm Chinese carb is like in my bloodstream. I don't think I can quit a cold turkey like that and I'm just gonna rebound like I did before. So that's why keto chips and cutting my carb by 50%, I think is a good start. Anyway, see you next time and hopefully I have better news and perhaps more tricks on that. I've made adjustment to change my life and stick to it this time around. Remember, Always look on the bright side of life. Oh yeah.